This is Reverend Wayne S. Pierce for an emergency broadcast from the Views Expressed. This just in from the Intel Hub. DHS inside source claims Obama White House set to stage major false flag. It's going hot. In a startling article published on the Northeast Intelligence Network, Doug- Douglas J. Hagman is reporting that an inside source from the Department of Homeland Security has revealed to him that a false flag attack planned by the White House is set to go hot. Hagman, who in the past received widespread attention after a series of articles about DHS prepping for civil war based on radio interviews he conducted, went ultra-viral, is reporting that this same source is now claiming that elements of the Obama White House uh, have given the go signal in regards to an upcoming attack. Quote, according to my well-placed source within the DHS apparatus, what amounts to a final authorization was reportedly given to DHS directly from the White House. A quote-unquote go signal, if you will, unquote, wrote Hagman. Hagman then went on to directly quote the apparent well-placed source with DHS itself. Quote, it's going hot. The plan or whatever specific operation that was devised is going hot, being put into motion. You've got to let people know that something is up. Approval has been given, and unless somebody stops it, we're going to have a staged event inside the U.S., and it's being set up so that it gets really ugly Uh, It gets real ugly real fast. The source then went on to speak about a Tennessee representative who sent out an email with a third-hand version of the original DHS prepping for martial law article and how this could have been done on purpose to discredit the information. Quote, don't think for one second that the sudden resurrection of the information, as incorrect as it was by that state rep, was an accident, because it wasn't, unquote. Quote, maybe the rep was played and clueless to the original story, but the way the story was managed after the fact made you look like a fool, like a real nutcase, unquote. The DHS insider then explained how they originally came across this information, which apparently involved a major slip-up at the upper levels of Homeland Security. <clears throat> goes on to say, the only reason I know about this authorization order or approval, or whatever you want to call it, is that there was a major slip-up at the very upper level of DHS, and I mean the very upper level. Quote, remember the news about sexual harassment, intimidation, all of the garbage that's gone on between the people that Palatano brought in and promoted due to their quote-unquote lifestyle preferences? There are some sick people, mental rapists and perverts, who she's brought into her innermost circle. They make Caligula look like a Boy Scout, at least with power and sex. Well, this one person says, well... One of those people, close to Nabalatano, was involved in a meeting where the concept and approval of a false flag was being discussed, unquote. Quote, now you should have an idea of how this slipped out, but they had a quick handle on damage control given the circumstances behind the disclosure, potentially embarrassing circumstances, sexual blackmail, unquote, he added. You can read the whole DHS Insider Source article here. There's a uh, a link on the Intel Hub uh, that I'm reading. While the Intel Hub obviously cannot independently confirm this information, nor can Liberty and Freedom Network, it does line up and directly correlate with recent events, including large-scale ammo purchases, as well as rhetoric in the media openly calling for a false flag to save Obama's pres- presidency. In the last three years, the federal government, led by the Department of Homeland Security, Security has purchased at least 1.4 billion rounds of ammo with at least 750 million rounds of that ammo being hollow point. The cover used for most of the orders was that the ammo was being used for quote unquote training per- uh, purchases, yet the total amount ordered is well over a billion rounds. Couple that with the bulletproof checkpoints, riot shields, and the U.S. Army plans for civil war, and a clear picture emerges. This is what Intel Hub 
uh, the intelhub.com says. I'm just repeating it. Um, Liberty and Freedom Network, the views expressed cannot verify uh, uh, or confirm independently this information that they have. <clears throat> Continuing, many different prominent advisors and corporate media publications have actually indirectly and directly called for a false flag attack to save the now failed Obama presidency. In 2010, Mark Penn, an influential advisor to former President Bill Clinton, appeared on Chris, Math Chris Matthews Hardball and claimed that, quote, President Clinton reconnected with Oklahoma, right? And the president uh, right now seems removed. It wasn't until that speech that he really clicked with the American people. Obama needs a similar uh, defining moment. Additional, additionally, Robert Shapiro, Robert Shapiro, an actual advisor to President Obama, published an op-ed in the Financial Times that included this stunning statement. Quote, the bottom line here is that Americans don't believe in it, President Obama's leadership. He has to find a way, he has to find some way between now and November of demonstrating that he is a leader who can command confidence and short of a 9-11 event or Oklahoma City bombing, I can't think of how he could do that, unquote. Although no one knows when or if another false flag event will actually take place, the facts remain that there is a startling amount of evidence that points towards an attack being direct, being directly on the table and a very real possibility. We can only hope that as the alternative media continues to expose this horrid possibility, enough people wake up to it to make the powers that be pull the attack off the table. That is from the Intel Hub. <clears throat> Under uh, the headline, DHS inside source claims Obama, White House set to stage major false flag, quote unquote, it's going hot. I will post that on Liberty and Freedom Network on Facebook. You can read it for yourself. I cannot independently uh, verify any of those claims in that. Uh, neither can Intel Hub. So, if you come up with information, if you have information additional to this, please send it to the intelhub.com or to me over here at uh, Liberty and Freedom Network at Liberty and Freedom Network at USA.com. Liberty and Freedom Network at USA.com. The link is going up on Liberty and Freedom Network on Facebook now. Check it out, read it, get it because it's going hot. Things are happening now, okay? Uh, I, it's, I, I, it might be overblown. It might be understated. It might be overstated. Who knows? But you don't want to take a chance. You don't want to take a chance. This is Reverend Wayne S. Pierce for the Views Expressed Liberty Freedom Network. Come uh, <clears throat> listen to the show Monday through Friday, The Views Expressed, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, on Liberty and Freedom Network, broadcasting on Spreaker.com.